I'm James Griffiths, I'm the director for our consumer products in Europe and we're very pleased to be talking about our new model of our XPS 13. The XPS 13 has been our most successful product in terms of awards and reviews, so we have over 400 awards and over 1500 reviews on this category of product. Many people say it's the best Windows laptop in the world, right? I would not disagree with them. So this is the smallest 13-inch laptop that is available. Maybe com competing with uh, uh, Carbon from Lenovo, right? It's like top of the best what people can get. Right? We would say we're best of the best. We're happy to go for that. So we have the Infinity Edge display. So it's uh, narrow borders on all three on three sides of the display. That's allowing us to put a 13.3-inch panel into the size of a system that is comparable to a lot of people's 11-inch systems. We use premium materials, so carbon fiber on the palm rest. It feels Very, like Kevlar. Yeah, it's similar. It's a it similar is. type of material. And then machined aluminium for the carcass. This is the smallest 13-inch. It's not necessarily the thinnest, but we believe there's a chance that there's a reason of being too thin. So if you go thinner than this, you then start to get flimsy with the screen and wobble, so it's less durable. Also, it means you can put less travel on the keyboard, and we feel it's important to be able to have a very good user experience of using the keyboard. This, key, this design has been out for a couple of years now, right? It has. Just upgrading the CPU. Well, we've done a little more. So we've upgraded the CPU to the 8th gen uh, Intel core processors. KB Lake, code name, yeah. What we've also done now is we've worked with Intel and we've developed something we call dynamic power mode. And that's where we have additional thermal sensors in the system. And that allows us to accurately measure and monitor what the thermal performance is happening on the system. So then when users are doing more demanding work, it means we can effectively overclock the processor and deliver even more performance. So we're seeing a 44% improvement in performance over the seventh gen version. Is it possible that it makes it more stable also compared to the first or second generation? With the, with the previous ones overheat? No, so we always take a very uh, careful look on thermal management because that has a huge impact on the reliability. If the system running too hot, it is going to impact reliability and that's a huge focus for us. What it does do is it allows us to deliver more performance. So it's not reliability, it's extra performance by accurately measuring and monitoring the thermal profile. But here, the, the thermal uh, vents are right here. So it's not recommended to use this in a bed, right? Because uh, it would block the, the, the ventilation. You do need to be you careful. Be on a table. Yeah, but what will happen is if it gets too hot, it will crank down the processor, so you'll lose performance, but it should not still impact the system. And this display is uh, is still the same. Uh, Infinity. Have you upgraded resolutions, or have they improved the displays in the last three years? In have the last improved? three years, yes, we've gone up to higher resolution. In this change, it's the same in the uh, panel. So we have QHD Plus offering, we have touch and non-touch versions, and we also have a full HD version. On the full HD panel, you'll actually get up to 22 hours battery life uh, on the system. Obviously, the QHD Plus is lowering the battery life. Has, uh, has anything been improved or has always been full speed? And when you think about the, the, the speed of the super speed USB or the Thunderbolt, has it always been maxed out the capacity of the spec? Or has each generation gotten better and faster? We've added, so obviously we're now on the, on the Type-C connectors, and as you say, with the Thunderbolt, we, we will also take power in through the, the, the Type-C, although we still retain the, retain the barrel connector. As we move forward, you'll probably see us moving exclusively to Type-C for power as well. And here you can we have this a battery indicator. So again, usability, you can see currently we're full battery. Whether we last that to the show cycles, I don't know, but we'll see how we go. And, uh, we also have a fingerprint reader here, so integrated into the palm rest. Uh, that's new, right? Windows, Windows Hello. You got this? Last, last year? Uh, yeah, we had it on the, the, uh, the Skylakes in the previous generation, uh, but we've continued that. Is this an option or all It's an optional. 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 Right. There it is. Uh, and what's the price? So price in euros 1299. We got a range of configurations and availability is September the 12th. So basically next week, right now, very soon. Yes. There it is. And uh, the, there's a mat display. When we don't get a touch, you can have mat, right? We do a mat option, yes. And uh, not 4K. 13.3. Um, it's a QHD plus on the yeah. There's 4K on the um, right. on the 15. So potentially uh, each new generation of the Intel improves the battery life, maybe. 
Yes, we're, we're also looking at other things that we can do. So as I say, looking at the thermal management helps with battery life. Choices around the panel, we're always looking for improvements in, in the battery life. But I think at 22 hours on the full HD, uh, we've got pretty uh, exceptional battery life uh, already. But it is an area we continue to focus on.